Tython received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. The seat of King Alfred's power, where Hawkshit stained my boots. I will find the man in white in their god's house. <laughs> this must be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. Mutis ceremonibus et parum habens significatione. Even the mighty fall. A Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words. And you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books, one may find such wisdom. 
We had many in England before the Danes burned our churches. A few yet remain nearby. Or perhaps a more pious soul in need of charity will reward you with a lesson. I have nothing for you now, but I will return. Even the mighty fall. And God's servant, the Bishop Aylfirth, was mighty indeed in defense of his job. He bathed in the river, so a gentle wash brings them closer to their God. Quick of wit, oxen strong, meek as a lamb. God called Aelfus to sit beside him, and Aelfus answered. He rose from the dead. A nice trick, and not easily done. Praise to such a man. Their God brings them light, just as Baldur does. Light as bright as the summer sun. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. God breathed on the water, and in the Jordan River he was cleansed of all sin. His baptism. On the mountain, his face shone like the sun, and he became light. His transfiguration. The women came with offerings, but they could not find him when they looked among the dead. His resurrection. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Well spoken. Are the riddles done? That is not for me to decide, for I am not the one who summoned you. If you follow, I will lead you to him. I solved your riddle. Now all I get is silence. Who am I to meet? Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? I learned that your God fears death just as mine do, just as every man does. Yet through our Lord, we may achieve life everlasting in his glorious presence. Perhaps you missed that detail. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that well from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex, but it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this Order? Only this and little more. This letter. Signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life.
The Gallows, the Quill, the Sikhs. Three men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aelfirth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your god. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. You have faced warriors like me many times before, and many times you have lost or been cheated. Why trust me now? I have men in London and Jorvik. Men who send me reports on the rise and fall of the tides of war. Not long ago, men and women of some influence were murdered in those places. In oddly specific circumstances. When I received this letter from our poor fellow soldier, it did not take long to work out why. I don't know your motive, nor what you hope to gain. All I ask is that you finish the work you have begun, before these fallen souls infest England further. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my Reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King. But the day will come. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin. around. So where would they have taken him? Papers thrown on the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks, or the guards destroying evidence. Broken balls, food scattered. They took him by force. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison.
This place is heavily guarded. Trees chiseling rock from the earth oh, for what? Like to build more prisons for men who steal apples. I was starving. Apples. My baby son close to death. Would you not steal to save I your child? I am looking child? for the reeve. Selwyn? That bastard said I stole an apple. You'll see me hang for it. Not Selwyn. Reeve Goodwin was arrested not long ago. Alfred's man. Arrested? Now that's as funny as a dose of the pox. Seems no one is free in Winchester.
The prisoners might know something. Thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. The other side must be barred. ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging, a husband and wife to be carried out soon. Evidence against the Order of Ancients, stolen from Goodwin? A Dane in Winchester? These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodwin. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the Protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let's go, before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls! Stop you! Oh, no. 
I am grateful for your help. It's a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favored Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but defiled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They're dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name doesn't rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop Aelfirth was the Sikhs. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. One calls himself the Quill. Are words his weapons? There were rumors of letters nailed up around Winchester. It may be that one of these can tell us more. The Gallows? What do you know of him? Must be another Reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. Is Selwyn a name you know? He seems to have judged and executed many for little more than stealing ale and bread. Of course! That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor. 